Hey style friend, Liz Kleba here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Do you feel like you need a little style refresh? It is kind of that time of year. Like we're starting to see the spring summer thing showing up in the store and it's time to just have a change of pace. Well, not for me, unfortunately, because well, I'm doing a shopping fest for 2024. So more about that there. But what things would I buy if I were buying this year? So let me share five of those with you today. So number one, <laughs> is it gonna do it? There we go. Number one, elbow sleeves. I'm seeing some elbow sleeve tees. Not, you know, necessarily, and this shopping is not at the most exciting retailers, but it's a good place to find some basics, right? Elbow sleeves. Both of these are from Land's End. I love an elbow sleeve for a waisted shape. And when I say waisted, I mean W-A-I-S-T-E-D, where the waist is smaller than the hips or the bust, right? somebody with some curve in the middle. I love it because that elbow sleeve ends at a narrow spot on the body, creating a horizontal line and drawing attention to your waist. Um, if you are a non-waisted shape, I would avoid an elbow sleeve, but who do I love it for? I love it for X's, for A's, and for eights. And that's eight, E-I-G-H-T, so like the number eight, eight shapes. Love an elbow sleeve, very excited about these. This is the first thing I saw that made me regret my shopping fast. Number two, acid green. Um, I'm loving a little pop of acid. It doesn't, it's not, I'm not buying a whole suit, right? But just a little pop of acid green. Maybe the shoes or the tote there. It could be called acid green. It could be called lime, citron. I'm seeing a lot of kind of citrusy words used to describe this acid green. This turtleneck sweater, uh, cashmere turtleneck is from Land's End. The tote and shoes in the middle were from Talbot's. Um, and since I'm not buying anything, I think I might have to buy myself a, a little bottle of Grinch green paint from Angelus and maybe paint one of my shoes to get that. How would I wear this pop? Well, I would love it with the spring navies and whites that we see as a, just to be something different. Um, so often when we see the springy navies and whites, we see it paired with red. Nothing wrong with red. It's beautiful combination with navy and white, but it's very classic. I like this acid green kind of pop just to be, it's just a little different, just a little different. Um, you can see here, let me see if I can show you. So I bought this scarf or I was gifted this scarf, excuse me, I was gifted the scarf for my birthday. And you can see there's that kind of acidy green in my bird there and elsewhere in the pattern. And so, yeah, I'm just sort of, I'm feeling that acid green. And so maybe I need to do a little Grinch green on a pair of shoes. Let's see what's next. What's the third thing? Polo shirts. Polo shirts are having a moment. So if you have polos in your closet, run with it. Um, we saw them paired with everything from silk trousers to just casual ensembles. Um, we saw them layered under dresses. Um, wow, the polo shirt is having a moment. Now, I don't love a polo shirt. It feels too school uniformy on me, maybe because I have kind of a, um, a I don't even know, something to do with my face. There's just something I don't love about it. Um, but I guess I'm gonna have to do a little reflecting on that. Um, but I do love this idea of a polo or a Johnny collared sweater. That feels a little bit more modern and a little bit less classic. So yeah, where did I find these? So the pink one is from Talbot's. It comes in a variety of colors. I love this one here from Banana Republic. It came in this ivory and in navy. This one's cashmere. Uh, this one over here came from Land's End, so it's more of a cardigan with that Johnny or polo collar. And then this one down here, I'm loving. It's also from Land's End. It doesn't have the Johnny or polo collar. It has the mock neck, but if you fold that down, you're going to get that same Johnny collar or polo collared sweater feel in something that you might wear further on into the future. So it's kind of a way to kind of finesse the trend, but still have something a little bit more classic. Um, but yeah, I love that. I would love a polo collared sweater or what we what is sometimes called a Johnny collar as well. Johnny collars are usually split out more um, and don't necessarily close in the front, kind of more like this sweater, but either or. We're seeing the polo neck or polo tee, polo shirts everywhere. Um, distinction for my UK friends, when we say polo, we mean like polo for the game, not the polo neck sweater, which is what we in the US call a turtleneck. 
All right, let's move along smartly. Fourth trend, polka dots. Polka dots tend to come in in the springs and I love a great polka dot. It's a very feminine pattern. So if you have a lot of feminine in your personality style, you might like the polka dot. Um, my caveat here with polka dots is they can be very tricky for my warm complexioned ladies because so often the polka dot is something and white and that bright white, that high contrast can be um, a real struggle with that bright white for my warmer complexioned ladies. I have, you know, if you can find a polka dot in a salmon, in an orange, and we do see them sometimes in brown. Sometimes we see a brown polka dot, which is beautiful. Um, but a lot of the polka dots are in the cooler colors, like this kind of emerald or Kelly green, black and white, right? Very high value contrast. One of my favorite ways to wear polka dots is polka dots with polka dots. So whether we do a positive negative effect, like these trousers with a white shirt with black Black polka dots, so kind of doing that positive negative, or pairing it with something like another, like if I paired this with another black polka dot top that had smaller dots on it, or much larger dots to get that kind of difference, right? I think that's very fun. Um, these pants and this top, also elbow sleeve, note that, from Chico's. Uh, this, dr this dress and the sweater here from J. Jill loving both of those that's and this sweater here i find incredibly tempting mm -hmm. incredibly tempting it was right up there with the striped uh elbow sleeve tee i was like oh so regretting my choice so regretting that fast choice and last but not least a red or a pink flat so ah <sighs> yes so I love a bright shoe, love a bright shoe, particularly in the spring, it just feels springy, uh, especially after a winter in boots and dark colored shoes. Um, you could go for anything from a very classic ballet flat here to something a little more modern with maybe a little bit more edge. Now granted, these are both Mary Janes, which we don't think of as edgy, but they have that squared off toe. Um, or a, if you can find a pointed toe, great too. Not seeing very many pointy toed shoes this year, um, which makes me sad. And then this Katy Perry flat over here, just I'm in love with. And this one comes in both pink, uh, orange, and in black and white. So cute. It has kind of that 1960s vibe that I really love. Um, 60s, early, yeah, 60s, early 70s vibe that I just adore. I think that's a super fun shoe right there. Like, <gasps> I, this would be my third item that if I was gonna break my fast along with those other two I mentioned, this shoe might be it right there. So yes, so red or pink, I, I tend more toward the pink, not because pink is a color I adore. I really love a great red shoe, but I find it looks very nautical, typically nautical, particularly the whites and navies that I wear a lot of in the spring and summer. Um, and I'm not a fan of wearing it with black. It just feels like too much of a contrast for me, but I do like both of those with the pinks. Um, I do adore a red flat though. Oh, makes my heart sing with all white outfits, all knee IV outfits, and I love red and brown together. So like if you're doing kind of a coffee and cream look with a pop of red, oh, fantastic. Just fantastic combination. Um, also load and green. Uh, so if you're wearing kind of a uh, mossy green, load and green and ivory or white, red, really cute as well. So I love those together. I love those pairings. Like I said, not a fan of red and white and blue. It feels very, um, yeah, it just feels very typical. It feels very typical. And I like to, I like a little bit of something different there. But, so yeah, so those are five things that I would be buying. I will include links below. Let me know what is tempting you this spring, summer. Um, and what you might, if there's anything here that makes your heart sing or that you would buy, let me know in the comments below. Um, please like, subscribe, do all the things and you won't miss next week's video. I would like to apologize quickly. Um, I wanted to do an actual video video this week, but with craziness with um, mama and the hospital and rehab and all of that goodness um, that we are living through right now, this was, this was as good as we were gonna get. So 
Um, let me know in the comments below what you like, what you hate, what you're thinking for spring. Um, or if you're in the Southern Hemisphere and you're heading into fall winter, let me know. Stay safe and sound sane and stylish, and I'll see you again next week. Bye.